Hello and welcome to a bit different video. Today I will be answering the question How hard is Diablo 2 untwinked? Now I prefer to call it untwinked because it prefers to self found gear or at least at a point of gear level where you can pretty much find the gear yourself without assistance of anything. So this could be your average single player character after maybe 15 40 hours of game time. So yeah, let's check out the gear first. Claygaus, um, I need these ones basically just for the knockback. They're pretty easy to find. You can find these yourself in Act 1, if you get lucky, from Andariel perhaps. Ravenfrost, two times of these. Uh, mine's kinda high, maybe that's a bit unfair for Untwinked, but this is what I had, so I will be using these. Razor Tail. You can find this one in hell most of the time. I haven't really found one myself before, I believe, but they're not that rare. Um, yeah, you, you basically just need this belt for any uh, bow Amazon character. Now the boots, the boots doesn't really matter that much. This one gives me quite a low, faster one walk. Um, I could go with Natalie's for more resistance, which is also pretty easy to find maybe even just sandstorm tricks. Now the one thing that is a little unfair is that mine are well they're kinda kinda good for the damage so if you can't find these uh, yourself self found then you do give some extra damage so maybe it's a little overpowered boots that I use for self found but yeah. Uh, the witch wild string now this one is actually perfect I had some stashed away in my uh, rules and yeah there's a lot of bows in this game and I kinda wanted to use this one. Now this bow is infamous for the deadly strike but due to my already low damage that the crits are not gonna be that high the only thing that's really really handy is the all resist. I really love the all resist on this bow especially for untwink character and fires magic arrow and amplify damage yeah that's okay amplify damage is always good but it's only a 2% chance so it's not gonna happen that often but um, the Deadly Strike and All Resist is definitely a great bow um, I also believe you can get this one upgraded I don't believe this one is upgraded I'm actually not quite sure right now uh, Armor doesn't really matter much Armor is never gonna matter too much unless you're using Enigma or Fortitude or whatever but um, yeah Gladiator's Bane pretty hard to find this one yourself I haven't found one before at least um, it gives some good uh, faster hit recovery and a lot of defense and that's really about it they cannot be frozen is okay and stuff but it's mostly the faster hit recovery that I like about this one and I also have it uh, socketed with a shell room for more faster hit recovery cat's eye amulet I uh, use this one just for the faster run walk and whatnot doesn't really matter much and then a shackle that I have sucked with some increased attack speed and six fire assist duel. So yeah, overall this gear can be gotten for well the bow is kinda hard to find uh, in trade, but if you were gonna trade for all this bullshit gear, you could get it for maybe three high runes or something like that. Nothing more than that. So yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um I should also mention that I'm not using my Merc. And I'm also not using switch items like uh, lightless and call to arms. And I'm not gonna be using my harmony bow either. So it'll just be this lonely. And I should put some more arrows in my build before we get going. What do you need? Um, I should also mention that I have actually never completed Diablo 2 uh, still found. Um, I have played self found on single player with a paladin and I got to act free hell and by then I thought the game was fucking hard actually. <laughs> I pretty much gave up. <laughs> Maybe I'm kinda bad at this game but yeah I pretty much just gave up at that point and I didn't want to spend more time at the game by then. That was some years ago, maybe like five years ago, something like that. But um yeah. Anywho I should also mention why I did I choose my bow Emerson for this guy that is because that the bow Amazon can actually realistically clear the game uh, self found even with very low gear due to dodge, evade and void and uh, what's it, uh, yeah the decoy the decoy is super useful if you're going to play self found um, it just gives you a way to escape danger and maybe teleport to town before you die or whatever but um, yeah 
as you see my damage and my charms I do have a few good charms left in my inventory but it's yeah okay they're a little overpowered but compared to compared to maybe well if you want to I could also perhaps let's see if we even have some room well I could uh, nah I can't even do that next level miss strength then yeah well okay my inventory is a little overpowered as well but considering my gear this can be self found pretty easily so anyways let's get going now for the most part you will see that the damage is not even gone a one third shot even normal mobs and I only have 500 health with this build which is a max dexterity build still I haven't respected for the so it's gonna be really 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 hard to clear cares and I doubt that I can even do it but we will try now I think actually for the most part I will be using strafe just cause strafe is kinda nice for single target damage and it procs the amplify from a bow really fast on single compared to multi shot and yeah Of course, if I had more health and I had respec it for this video, I would be much safer. And I believe I also have no uh, life leech in this build, so that is definitely also making it a lot harder. But um, yeah, I just have to take a few mobs at a time, and then we will see about it. If you get a bit bored, feel free to skip ahead. I might not uh, talk that much from now on if I'm also going to be focusing a little on the play. Already now I can see the problem poison damage for so much uh, so little health and no leech is really really dead combination. So I might actually need to get some uh, uh, antidote potions later on if that becomes a problem. But yeah, strafe is great, and so is the amplify. Uh, the amplify animation is the one that does some com some kind of whoosh sound. Uh, when I hear that sound, the amplify procs. It's then I know that the damage is gonna come. And since I'm always critting with this bow, it's pretty sweet. And as you see there, the poison damage from those damn things that fire off screen which I can't even see they nearly kill me at least I can also fire off screen and then try to avoid off screen damage as well okay now I'm nearly dying there I actually think I have to switch to multi shot now just cause they keep spawning those small ones from the X. The only problem is the multi shot with no leads costs so much mana, so I have to use mana potion a lot. Okay, I actually got to play all the blood maggots now, that was nice enough. Oh, and I can't stand. Oh, it was an elite, no wonder that hurt it so much. So now I'm just gonna fire some off screen with my uh, guided arrow, that's really, really good for off screen. So yeah, that is also another thing about Amazon. If you're going to play play solo, uh, oh sorry, screwed up my screen there. If you're going to be playing uh, untwinked, Amazon is really good for off-screen damage as well. So you can just kind of well cheese it. I guess you could call it cheese it. Yeah. And I also believe that I actually heard about some dude clearing. Uh, the game with no gear or something like that on an Amazon. Can't quite remember if that was uh, true or not, but I just believe that some I read once ago, you know, some time ago, that uh, somebody cleared the game with uh, no gear on a bow Amazon. And that's mostly due to the decoy. I'm not even using decoy yet. Maybe I should uh, consider doing that soon. But um, yeah, decoy is a really, really good ability. And yeah. And now the Amplify comes and you can just see how fast they die. The Amplify, that uh, bow there is super. That's also another thing you notice about uh, about playing on Twink. You really rely on everything. So 
normally I wouldn't even notice a proc happening you know, on my normal gear because I just kill too fast anyway but playing on twink to really notice all the small things that is going on such as uh, the strike and crossing glow procs how oh, that had a lot of health I need mana. and just clearing up to the cares I already used all my potions pretty much I have to be careful, but I don't have a lot of fire assist, so that could uh, get dangerous pretty quickly. Anywho, I think I should almost go back and get some mana potions now. This one has a lot of health. Ah, uh, so much pain. Okay, now I got some. Oh, that's Triangle. That's pretty cool. Just gonna have to check that out. That's. Well, not rare drop, but oh, it's tentered scrobill. I was about to say if I got a set item to drop. <laughs> okay, now we uh, will go to the carrots. Now I can definitely use my multi shot arrow a lot more because there's just so many targets, especially the off screen ones that I can hit. But I have to be extremely careful about dodging ranged projectiles. Maybe pop a decoy now, just to kind of get them to focus a little. But it dies so fast as well, it's like 2 seconds instead. And I keep running out of mana, hate that. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah, it dies now, no problem. But anyways, uh, when I was playing Diablo 2 single player on that uh, Hammer Paladin, oh man, they hit me. I need yeah, when I was playing back then, I had really really fun time anyways. I really love that Diablo 2 is so fast, uh, so hard, when you're playing on Twinked. And you can't even get that experience even in Diablo 1, I believe, or uh, especially Diablo 3. Because even playing... Uh, on a new account with no boost and whatnot, it's still too easy that game. Even if you're going to be playing like, I don't know, on a high torment level while leveling. It's basically, yeah, it hurts and it's hard and whatnot, but <sighs> it's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of like they have more health. They don't gain any new really deadly abilities that you need to dodge or whatever. The damage is not that crazy, but you really feel the damage on on uh, Diablo 2. Man, there's so many elites. Come on, amplify proc. Okay, that was not terrible. Pretty good damage this bow here. Of course, it's nothing compared to my normal wine force, but yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go and pull some mobs, see just how much we could handle. Just gonna pop a decoy. Oh, and we got a mana shrine as well. That's nice. Okay. I think I can. Oh, I wanna get close to the mana shrine before I start. Oh. Okay, good. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Yeah, got the damage going now for sure. And then I just quickly get my mana refreshed. That's a nice little bonus that you can use these things to save on the potions. At least so far I haven't gone to town. <laughs> oh man, there's another elite. Why are there so many elites this run? It's not an easy map. <laughs> I 
Oh well, I just have to take these Venom Lords a bit slow. At least I got Clay Clouds for knockback, so that's sweet. It happens almost all the time with Guided Arrow. And it's dead. Okay, let's proc the first seal. Oh man, now I got trapped. I trapped myself. How stupid. Yeah. And I trapped myself there. That was... I didn't even think. Ha. <laughs> That's just so bad play. Yeah, it didn't take long for me to die. And now I can't even get my corpse. But um, anyways, I think I will actually just end the video with that. It doesn't seem... Uh, uh, fair that I go on I guess so yeah if I die that kind of shows how hard the game is to play on Twinked now I will agree that the uh, both that I was using in this video can be a bit hard to find uh, on cell found but um, even with a lower bow you would uh, still uh, not do that much more damage granted that bow was maybe a little good for cell found but yeah Untwinked is definitely fun, and feel free to comment if you have ever completed uh, Diablo 2 single player or playing online with no help from uh, gearing up as a twink or whatever. So yeah, hope you found this uh, fun and maybe also useful. So yeah, goodbye.